Chromebook versus MacBook. For the business owner stuck at the tech crossroads choosing your next business machine, this can be impactful on your efficiency and your productivity. And not only does it set the precedent for you, it sets the precedent for your team as well. This is a decision not to take lightly, but after the next few minutes, I'm hoping to make it a little easier for you. Let's dive right in. Let's talk about Chromebooks that are all the rage in the Google ecosystem with the Google fanboys and girls, but what actually makes them good and what are they good for? Because they can't do everything, but they can do a hell of a lot pretty good. Now, Chromebooks are obviously cloud centric and they are ultra efficient devices. They run Chrome OS, which is a little bit different to a fully fledged operating system like Mac or like PC. And you don't get to install the normal apps that you would expect to install on OS X or Windows. You just pretty much get a Chrome browser. That's about it. So if you're primarily working in the web, if you're primarily relying on web based tools, a Chromebook is a great option. They're going to boot up quick. It doesn't use many resources. You don't need heaps of RAM. And the security is absolutely top notch because you don't really have many things in the operating system that can be opened as vulnerabilities. You are just effectively working in a web browser and that's about all you get. Now, all the other basics are there. Like if you need to open files, if you need to plug in a USB stick and access the contents, you can do that. If you need to connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or a headset, you can do that. Audio works fine if you're listening to something. And some of them even come with an audio jack. I know they're a bit old school that you can, yes, plug in headphones. Remember those when we used to plug them in? You've got all of those, but you just don't get much else. You get a file browser and you get Chrome and you've just got to connect to the internet and get your work done. If you need to get work done on on a Windows machine, you might have to connect to a remote server or dial into a VPN to be able to get your work done. If you're working on the Chromebook itself, you're working in the web. And aside from what's called progressive web apps, which are apps that you can download and run effectively still on the web, you are pretty much tied down to websites that you can access online. Now, while we're speaking about online, yes, that means that you're going to have to be connected to the internet for most of the work that you're doing. Many things can be done offline on a Chromebook. You can edit documents in Google Drive. You can even open Microsoft documents and work on those in Google Drive. You can, of course, access Gmail in offline mode and get the last 90 days of your email and send and reply and access your contacts and read your calendar, although not make changes. And do all the basics offline, but you can't open up an application like Photoshop and work on a photo that you took on the weekend that you want to edit. You can't do graphic design in Illustrator. They are okay for coding if you're a developer, but they're not amazing. The advantages of a Chromebook is that they are ultra secure. They are ultra fast. They are user friendly, lightweight, cost effective. It's not a tool that can do absolutely everything, but it's a tool that does a few things brilliant. And let me tell you, the battery life on a Chromebook far outpaces any Apple device I have used. And the simplicity of being able to do less means that I just focus more on my work because I don't have the distractions of a fully fledged operating system constantly vying for my attention with updates to apps, with pop ups, with system updates and security patches that need to be installed. Everything just works. Next, let's talk about Macs. And yes, from time to time, I personally use a Mac, although I have used Chrome as my primary operating system for the last five years. Why is that? Well, because I'm a streamer and I need live streaming capabilities and I need to be able to use multiple tools that talk to a machine and intense graphics capabilities and applications that just aren't written for a Chromebook. If you are a creative professional and you need to do graphic design or video editing or anything else that is going to be intensive with external peripherals like digital cameras being plugged into your device, you're probably going to find your home on a Mac or maybe even using a Windows PC if that's what floats your boat. Using an Apple device is superior in any kind of creative or professional field where you need to actually produce digital assets unless you're exclusively working online in the browser on something like Canva. If you're using Canva, sure, Chromebook, absolutely fine. But if you're really doing any kind of heavy lifting in the creative space, a Mac is probably going to be an obvious choice. Now, Macs I love. They've got excellent build quality. They've got excellent performance. And there's an excellent ecosystem with the rest of the Apple family. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, or if you've got a set of earpods and Features like being able to move between different devices and automatically have your 
music or your audio change between the different devices or Apple being able to find your devices from one account if you want to be able to use iCloud across all your different devices for making payments and keeping your passwords synchronized in one place in all of your consumer ecosystem, well, then Apple's pretty darn good for that. I take a photo on my phone, I can airdrop it straight to my computer, or I can just wait for the Apple Photos application to synchronize it automatically in the background. That's because I've got an iPhone, a Mac computer is going to talk to it with all of those services. Now, if you're in the Android world, well, a Chromebook might be better for you. A lot of Google services work better with Android devices. If you are using a Chromebook, you can have it automatically unlock using the presence of your Android device. You can even have things like your biometrics linked to an Android device, which gives you a few more features that you wouldn't get if you're using iOS. Now, the downside of working with a Mac is that you've got a higher upfront cost. They are sometimes multiples of the cost of a Chrome device. And many, many years ago, I famously returned a $5,000 MacBook Pro to go back to a $1,000 Chromebook because it performed better, the battery lasted longer, and the MacBook I just wasn't happy with as an overall product. That aside, I'm now using a Mac, and if you need to do anything that's more performance hungry, or maybe you're a weekend gamer and you wanna do something that's more graphics intensive, you're probably gonna find yourself at home on the Mac because that's where they really excel, despite the cost and the overhead that you pay for the Apple brand. Now, macOS is a stable operating system. It gives you a secure environment. They're not quite as secure as a Chromebook. You don't have the fancy update in the background feature on a Chromebook, which automatically updates your operating system and then just installs it when you reboot your computer in real time so you don't have to wait for it to be installed. There's a few more you know, traditional operating system things that you have with a Mac that are overhead. But you do have that range of software compatibility where you can install pretty much anything you want on an Apple computer. And in general, they're fairly secure, at least a lot more secure than the Windows operating system. So head to head, Macs are better at handling intensive creative or development tasks. Chromebooks are gonna be more affordable, but they're also offering value in cloud-based operations. And if you're someone who wants to work pretty lightly, a Chromebook is gonna be better. They're better with security as well. Now, MacBooks give you access to all of your professional grade applications if you're into producing music, producing graphics, producing video, that's the way to go. Chromebooks are optimized for cloud-based services and if you have a fleet of computers that you need to roll out to staff, it's probably gonna be Chromebooks unless they happen to be graphic designers. Now, both have pretty good security features, but Chromebooks really, they excel here. And with the benefit of the automatic updates, they really win this category because they just outshine any other operating system when it comes to security and automated updates. And Google also update their operating system every six weeks, which means that you get a continual improvement process on your experience of working with Chrome, whereas Apple tend to be 12 to 18 months between major release cycles for their operating systems. If you're using Google Workspace, Chromebooks really are a great choice for your team and perhaps even for yourself as well. Because of their deep integration with the Google ecosystem, you can rest assured that a choice with Chromebooks is gonna make your life easier when it comes to your IT maintenance. When you log into a Chromebook, you're literally using your Google account. And so that means that you don't have to worry about connecting a device to a server to make sure that if it gets into the wrong hands, everything is secured and encrypted. By default, this happens when someone logs into their Chrome account on Google. And of course, if the device is lost or stolen or anything else happens to it, you can choose to wipe it and lock that user out immediately from online tools within Google Workspace. Apple's main advantage is their deep integration with iOS and other Apple services. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and you really wanna get more Apple-y with your computer as well, well, that's probably gonna be the best for your workflow. If you're the kind of person who often moves between your computer and your phone on meetings, or you're running out the door between working from cafes or working from an office or working from home or working from your car, well, it might be easier to seamlessly switch between those different devices using Google's continuity features with both your phone and a set of AirPods. That's our verdict on Chrome and Mac OS or Apple devices in general. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know in the comments which works best for you and which you're choosing for your primary business device. Having used most, my personal preference is Chrome as much as possible, but when I'm on the road and producing videos, I'm forced to use a MacBook. That's just how it goes. I'm a creator and I need to use the extra power 
of the graphics processing of a MacBook Pro. Now, you are going to have your own unique needs and computing requirements for you and your business. And remember, what your needs are might be different to your staff needs as well. So develop a list of requirements and a bit of a tech profile that you can use to choose the right budget and the right device for you and your team. My recommendation with Chrome devices, if you are a heavy user of multiple tabs at the same time, is to be generous with the RAM. Remember that even though a Chromebook is designed to be ultra efficient, it's still running Chrome and it's gonna take a lot of energy to open multiple tabs at the same time. No matter what decision you make, if you need any help setting up or getting workspace or any of these applications or devices moving and working correctly with your workspace account, well, our team are on hand to help you out with that. We have a team of experts who service customers all around the world with small business IT issues. Click the link down below to get started with a free consultation or a quick fix instant support service. And if you'd like to consider our concierge service, well, you actually get access to unlimited IT support and consulting from our professional services team. See you in the next video.